This is the Professional Stepdad, a place where we share stories, strategies, and ideas for men just like you to help answer that one important question. How can I be a better stepdad? All right, welcome back. Episode 39 of the Professional Stepdad Podcast. Jumping right into it. First, if this is your first time here on the show, welcome. I highly recommend to go back to the welcome episode to kind of get a feel of what this show is about because we, I either go real fast um, or I hit a lot of different subjects, but this is about retaining and, and sharing um, tangible information that is beneficial for the stepdad um, or the step parent that could, you know, so they can grow their family in a way that is dynamic, powerful, wonderful. So um, again, welcome. So today's topic is going to be, uh, are you purposely sabotaging your relationship? Whether that is with your stepkids, with your partner, are you purposely sabotaging the relationship because you don't feel enough value within the home? Maybe you don't feel worthy enough. Maybe your past is, maybe you're holding on to your past so much that you can't kind of make that transition from like an individual who was selfish and who made a lot of mistakes to an individual that needs to be unselfish and responsible. So a lot of the questions that I receive or the mess on the message boards from Facebook, everything's kind of the same. I mean, this is like a repetitive thing, guys. The repetitive, the repetitiveness of I don't feel valued or I'm the asshole or I don't feel like I'm being listened to. Um, or like, you know, I want to kill bio dad or just all the outside circumstances that come. I have to start asking myself, honestly, at what point do you take self control? Meaning like, at what point are you like, are you going to be real with you? I mean, and, and, and honestly ask the question, like, are you purposely sabotaging your relationship? Even if it's very minor, very small, but a thousand little small sabotages can lead to one big explosion. Are you purposely sabotaging your relationship in order to protect your heart? Are you purposely sabotaging your relationship because you don't feel valued or wanted? Are you purposely sabotaging your relationship because you're scared or that, or because you have never dealt with your past, therefore you feel like you're bringing that past into this new relationship with these new children, whether bio dad's in the picture or not, um, and you don't feel like you're, you're responsible enough to even handle the amount of pressure, time, energy, and effort it takes to be a step parent. Because you already know, parents in general, bio parents in general, have it easier than step parents. I'm not saying parenting is easy. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that as a step parent, not only are we coming in trying to uh, deliver value to our new home, but we are also dealing with the outside circumstances of the relationship that we find ourselves in now that sometimes have nothing to do with us. But here's the biggest, like, the biggest like disconnect with new stepdads. Okay, biggest disconnect with new stepdads is they become a stepdad. They agree to to be that leader within the home, but they haven't let go of who they were. They haven't fully disconnected from whether they were a big partier, whether they were somebody that was promiscuous, whether they are a gambler or whether they just, you know, maybe it's self-love. Maybe they're just not confident at all. Maybe they're really insecure, whatever it might be. They haven't fully let go of that person. So when they enter this new relationship, they're bringing the old person with them. And they are doing kind of the same similar stuff, but now there's an added part to this relationship, which is kids and partner and home and pressure and stress, which I believe causes a lot of stepdads to walk away, which I believe causes a lot of stepdads to purposely sabotage their relationship so they don't feel like they're the one, like they're the bad guy. Now, I know that's kind of hard to swallow when it comes to the stepdad point of view, because, you know, we raised our hands. We're, we want to be here, right? We want to be here. We said we were going to be here. We want to be responsible. We don't want to walk away. A lot of us were, were um, raised to finish what you start and a man's a man and, and all that other stuff. But um, 
what are some of the things that you're doing that you could be honest about? Be honest with yourself. I mean, it's real simple. I'm not asking a complicated question that has to do with complicated theories or um, mathematical equations. I'm asking a simple question. If you were honest with yourself today, what can you say that you're doing purposely, meaning you know what you're doing, purposely to sabotage your relationship, even if it's small, little, tiny cuts? Just trust me, they add up. I mean, the more you sabotage, whether it's small or big, the more you do it, the more your partner begins not to trust you, the more, the further and further away your stepchildren get. Um, and the more that the more the outside circumstances that are happening tend to affect you. And it's really, 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 really hard to be honest with yourself. You know, I say this thing all the time, which is a lot of stepdads enter this relationship, enter this new world, this new journey. A lot of stepdads enter this new journey with one foot out the door. Maybe it's one toe out the door. It doesn't matter. That door is left crack open. Why? Because that's our way to protect us. That's the way to protect our heart. That's the way to protect who we were before we met you, stepmom or bio mom. It's to protect who we were before we stepped into this new, to this new family. You know, God forbid we lose our identity of who we were before we, we met you. And too many of us hold on to that image and we secretly want to tap back into that image or that person every now and then because we don't want to lose connection with who we were. Let me be frank. If you don't let go of who you were, you can never become who you are. If you don't let go of your past, you can never fully be present in the now. Because being present within your family, being present within your home is, is, is such a valuable step within this stepdad journey, being present. Because here's the thing, within the first few years, your, your whole entire objective should be, how do I communicate with everybody? Because I'm this new person and they've had this way of communication way before I stepped into this picture. How do I learn to communicate with everybody? Your first few years should be simply just listening and trying to understand everyone, trying to figure out what are their likes, what are their dislikes, what are they into, what are they not into? How do you, what's the, what, what, you know, how do they react during this situation? How could they respond during that situation? Same thing with your partner. Stepdads, you have such an uphill battle because you are not only dealing with your own personal demons, this person you don't want to let go, the foot out the door, but you're also dealing with the bio mom's broken heart, the way she views men, the protection of her children, her the narrative she that's built around stepdads and the whole evilness of how we are pictured and painted um, in social media, in television, in movies. It's such an uphill battle that you need all your wits, you need all your strength and you need all your energy in order to get to a position to where you can finally say that you have built this strong family dynamic where it doesn't feel like you're an outsider anymore. It doesn't feel like you're not valued or needed or wanted. You feel like you're home. But too many stepdads are purposely sabotaging their relationships because it's almost like a, it's almost like a, not an excuse. They're, they're sabotaging relationships. So if, and when it does get to the point where I'm, where it doesn't work out, you don't, it's not, you don't feel fully, you don't feel that bad about it. <laughs> God, I, I feel even weird saying that, but you don't feel that bad about it because you've been doing these little sabotages every now and then and every so often that when it finally explodes on you, it's not really a surprise to you. Although a lot of you will act like it's a big surprise. So are you purposely sabotaging, sabotaging your relationships? Whether if it's with your partner or your kids or the others, or maybe it's just yourself. Are you purposely sabotaging your relationships so you don't have to grow, so you don't have to face the new you, so you don't have to face change, so you don't have to face letting go of bad habits? Are you? Because the moment you can get real with that part of your life, the moment you can be honest about that part of your life, is the moment you will actually see the uphill climb. Because if you don't, think about it like a mountain, right? If you continue to hold on to who you were, and if you continue to keep doing the same things you were doing,
before you enter a relationship or the little things you do wrong. You're just gonna keep circling the bottom of the mountain. And this is where everybody else lives. This is where it feels comfortable, guys. This is where it feels real, real comfortable because guess what? There's gonna be other stepdads going through the exact same thing you're doing, doing the exact same stuff that you're doing. And you guys get to talk to one another and agree with one another and, and hold your heads high because there's somebody that's having that same problem you are. But you guys are, like I go on, I go on Facebook and I go on these stepdad platforms and the advice that is given and the complaints that are happening are so extreme but so similar, but because the men are not wanting or capable of facing their fears of change, they feel like venting or like, you know, agreeing with some stupid statement. It makes them feel like, yeah, yeah, I'm not the only one going through this. This is it. This is a, this is how all stepdads are going through. You know, I, this is this is nothing. And it, it kind of gives you an excuse, right? It's like you're validating your stupidity. <laughs> It's the best way I can put it. Stop validating your stupidity because there are other stepdads like you who are unwilling to change, who are unwilling to let go of the old them, who are unwilling to bring that foot in. You're validating that process because, you know, it kind of makes you feel like, like you're not alone. Let me be, again, frank with you. You and all the other ones that are not doing it, you guys are alone because you're going to find yourself alone. Think about that. If the bio mom has let you into her life, if the bio mom has allowed you to be a part of the children, this is a great responsibility. This is an opportunity and time for you to prove your worth and value, not to them, to you. But you cannot get there until you let go of that person. Stop purposely sabotaging your relationship to benefit you. Stop purposely sabotaging your relationships to protect you. What if? What if you brought that foot in? What if you went all in? What if you decided to face your fears? What if you decided to be honest with yourself? What if you decided to say, oh yeah, I gotta let go of that guy because he is doing nothing good for me. But he feels comfortable, he feels safe, he feels secure because that's that voice in your head, right? What if you let him go? What if you decided to just sit down with him one day and say, hey man, it's not working out anymore. My responsibilities lie here now. And the, and the reason I'm telling you guys this is because that's what I did. It's exactly what I did, how I did it, and how I approached it. Because I was unwilling to let go of who I was. I loved the old me. I partied. I had fun. I had a lot of friends. I went out a ton. But it was I was just satisfying these urges and desires to feel wanted and needed. And because most stepdads are not valued, wanted, and needed, or at least feel valued, wanted, and needed within the relationship in the beginning... They, they will go and search for that feeling, that, that old feeling. Crazy to think, right? Almost like an addict. So that's the show today, guys. That's just a simple question I'm posing to you. Are you purposely sabotaging your relationship in order to protect and then fill in the blank? Are you purposely sabotaging your relationship because you're scared? What if you went all in? What if you decided to say, holy, all right, enough with the excuses. Imagine this, okay? Ready for this? Imagine you actually applying the advice that you probably give others. You guys know those people. They can give all the advice in the world. They can have the they can tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and ways to do it. But if you were to put a camera on them, you would easily see that they're not following their own advice. Imagine if you followed your own advice. Imagine Okay, guys, episode 39, quick one, fast one, easy one today. Again, all the new subscribers, thank you for joining. Please share, like, subscribe the, the, the show, guys. Um, the objective here is to get into the households of every blended family with a stepdad or stepparent. I can't be, I don't want to be uh, closed minded to say that the information that I give is not universal and, and interchangeable because it is. This is just the platform that I live. And I want to make sure that I am doing my very best to prepare the future stepdads for this journey. Until tomorrow, guys, I'm going to be interviewing another um, another stepdad. So him and I connected on TikTok um, because of a video that went viral of mine. Um, well, I can't even say it's mine. It's my son. 
But uh, um, Logan, Logan Pierce reached out to me and he asked me how he could help spread the word, how he could help, um, you know, bring more light on the subject and what I talk about. And my answer was simple. Hey, man, let's hear your story because he's a stepdad. Let's hear your story. Let's hear your ups, your downs, your goods, your bads. That's the only way we're going to be able to educate the, the future. It's the only way we're going to be able to educate the stepdads that are going through it right now. So I will be having him on the show tomorrow. I'll probably uh, post that late Friday night or early Saturday morning. Can't wait till you guys see it. But again, Logan Pierce, I'll have his information here. And then again on the next episode. So, um, and, um, and we'll just keep on driving the show. Keep on driving. Keep on pushing. And um, again, sending love your guys' way. And I appreciate you all. Thanks. Thank you, everybody.